Jordan, thanks. For a lot of us, getting in the car also means turning on the radio to listen to some tunes or to catch the news. While most are either in English or Spanish, radio station KFST in Fort Stockton serves both communities on the same frequency. As Kirby Warnock shows you, the bilingual station is a hit across West Texas. With so many of the radio stations in the Permian Basin serving as part of a chain like NPR or under corporate ownership like iHeartRadio, Odyssey, or Cumulus Media, it's hard to find a true independent radio station just like the one glamorized on the hit TV show WKRP in Cincinnati. But out on the edge of Fort Stockton, sits one of the few remaining independently owned FM and AM stations in Texas, KFST. Station owner Ken Ripley gives us some background. But there are still quite a few independent owners and operators. Um, it's nice being your own boss, and uh, I enjoy that aspect of it. Uh, next year, we'll be celebrating our 70th anniversary of KFST because it was established in 1954 and the first location for the AM station was in the first on the first floor of the Springhurst Hotel in downtown Fort Stockton, and the broadcasting antenna was on top of the roof. Whereas most Midland Odessa stations play either country, classic rock, or Tejano, KFST has a split or dual radio format. In the daytime, it's country and western. But after the sun goes down, KFST goes Spanish with a diverse Mexican playlist. Y bueno, pues le digo la que tal, que tal, muy pero muy buenas, buenísimas tardes tenga usted. Son ya las seis de la tarde con siete minutos, siete después de la hora. Well, having a Spanish program in the evenings or at any time during the day was not my idea. This began many, many years ago. Even at that time, 1954, they started a Spanish program. Uh, on the on the radio station way back then. Melissa Vatal is one of three Spanish language DJs who works the evening shift. With a listening audience that includes Crane, McCamey, and Kainos, as well as Fort Stockton, she finds her most loyal and dedicated listeners housed in the Lionel unit of the Texas Department of Criminal Justice, just outside of Fort Stockton. Many of her prisoner listeners show their appreciation for her and her show with finely detailed, hand-drawn greetings and well wishes that they mail into the station. Todos esos son de, de la prisión. Este es de la prisión. Todo eso de la prisión son presentes. Um, no sé, como 15 años, como 15 years. Mm -hmm. Can they I don't know, for, para mí es muy bonito, es muy, muy bonito. Tienen ese detalle para mí. On rare occasions, the inmates sometimes get to phone in. Mm, yeah, they call. Do all these drawings, like they, they send you letters? No, okay. no. <laughs> it's all part of two cultures, Anglo and Hispanic, and two types of music country and Mexican, both sharing time and listeners on the only radio station in town. For News West 9, this is Kirby Warnock, Fort Stockton.